What's going on guys, it's me the cats, and we're playing on a brand new Minecraft server today. It's called Purple Prison. It is a prison type server, and I absolutely love prison type servers. I've been looking for something new to play, and we're going to be experimenting on this server. See what's going on, uh, see if it's fun. I believe it is a traditional A to Z style prison, and uh, I want to see how long it takes for me to get all the way to Z, how long it takes to get free, and just see what we can come up with. Um, this is quite a popular prison. Uh, it does have, I think, about a thousand players playing on at the moment. So, you know, it's got the numbers and there's people consistently joining it. And it should be a fun opportunity for myself. Now, you guys might know that in the past I have experimented with prison server development. So, whilst this will be a fun, enjoyable experience for me, there is also a bit of R&D going on. Um, so, we will you know, be seeing some of the different features and getting inspired. And if we ever go back to making a prison server, we can use some of the stuff that we've learned from this server to help get us there. Because as you guys can clearly see, this is a successful server. So yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna record it either. I've never really watched prison style videos, but I think we'll just kind of rush through the ranks, see how easy it is, and then see how long it takes until we start, you know, facing some difficulties. But as you guys can see, uh, we are currently on level A. I just did a little mining session. I got 80 grand. So it should be pretty easy to get through the starter stages. There also looks like there is a multiplier um, by voting. So I might vote a few times and bring up the multiplier. And uh, let's just see, you know, how many ranks we can go up in, say, an hour if we just kind of grind. Um, also, we got our pickaxe. So this is the default kit. We have some bombs. Um, we have an axe, and it looks like the pickaxe is efficiency 19, unbreaking 19, fortune 4. So basically, I don't think it'll break, or it won't break for a very long time, and it does look like you can repair it. Um, other prison servers, you can upgrade your pickaxe by right-clicking it and then using shards and whatnot, but it doesn't look like they have this here. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what happens once my pickaxe breaks. I suppose there'll be a kit or something. I can get a starter kit again, or I think there's probably a, um, whatchamacallit, an auction. Let me see. Yeah, there might be a, no, how do I look up auction? Yeah, it looks like there is an auction where you can purchase better pickaxes with money. How much does that cost? $1 billion. So this is gonna be a grind, guys, but bear with me. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy this little series. If you're still watching, Let's get right into it. Let's just start mining and let's see what we can do. It's quite a big mine, actually. Will it tell me if my inventory is full? Yes, it does. 358k, let's do rank up. You got 10 tokens for mining, spend them with PT. That's on ranking up. We are now rank B. What else does it say? You have been one rank up key. So what can we do with the keys? There's also slash PT, which is the token shop. Um, and how many tokens do we have? We have 10 tokens, don't we? There's really not much that we can buy at the moment. And there's also a rank up key. We type slash warp crates. We can use a rank up key somewhere here. A sword. Flash rank up. Boom, whoopsie. So I really wanna kinda get away from the starter mines so that I'm in some more civilized mines where there's more structure to the mining. Cause it seems like people are just kinda mining straight down. And then because you can't fly in these mines, it is a real pain in the bum. And my inventory is full again, bro. My inventory is filling up like crazy. But yeah, we have fortune 10 on this pickaxe, so Inventory is just going to keep on filling up like crazy. Again. Rank 
up. Warp D. I guess what really works on this server is making the kind of starting ranks very easy to attain and making the prisons or making the mines really friendly and kind of easy. A lot of time you'll see like the starter mines will just be like stone with a few pieces of iron or a coal or something. And um, yeah, it's very, uh, very like grindy and whatnot. Even though this is kind of very grindy and repetitive, it is more satisfying because we're getting straight into the ores. And because our inventory is filling up really quickly, it does feel like we are kind of getting through it a lot quicker than what we probably are. Because uh, I feel like, you know, I've only been doing this for like a little bit, but I have already spent, you know, 20 minutes or so on the server. So that's why these prison servers are so addicting. It's kind of just like a grindy server where you just have to keep working your way up and up and up and up, just doing the same thing over and over and over again. Kind of like a like an iPhone game, you know, where you have to like build a tycoon or something. So that's what these prison servers remind me of. And that's why they're so addicting. That's why I love them. You know, it'd be a cool feature if you could right click and it automatically resets the prison. What did I just do? That wasn't me. All right, I don't even know what happened. Rank up. So we'll go warp E. So what I want to consider doing is voting. We have to vote on all four sides and I assume each vote is going to give me a multiplier, like a 1000 point multiplier, I reckon. All right, so I have voted four times and I have a multiplier of 2.4. Now we get $320,000. Rank up. All right, warp F. Let's see what warp F looks like. More or less the same. So it looks like we have also received a whole bunch of keys. So we have a bunch of voter keys, rank up keys, and a purple crate key. So let's visit warp crates and see if we can get anything good. All right, so let's start off with the voter keys because I'm sure they're probably the worst. One, oh, it's one of these, it's one of these. A mine nuke. Interesting. Token awards. Okay, okay. I want an item. I want a pickaxe. Another one. A voter helmet. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And a set of boots, which I already have. No, I don't. I thought I put them on. Apparently, I didn't. All right. And then we also have the rank up keys. So, we'll do those. I like it when it just... I prefer when it just opens straight away. $2 million, gold blocks, rank up crate key. Hell yeah. Got a whole bunch of gold blocks, which we just sold for $1.8 million. Nice. And then we also have these boots, which aren't as good. And then we also have these. Can I place these here? Two hundred purple tokens. All right. So I got a whole bunch of tokens, and then lastly we have one purple crate key. I assume this is the best one. So let's see what we get. A supply drop at warp. PvP. Okay. And then I assume there are plots. Plot auto. So we'll go ahead and get ourselves a default plot. Put all the crap in here that we don't need or want or know what it is. That is all that stuff. I saw there is a coin flip. So maybe let's type slash CF. And the only current thing is five trillion dollars, which we have nothing against close to 250 million dollars everybody's doing coin flips i want to do a coin flip but i only have you know two mil 
coin flip amount heads. So what if I type CF 10,000 heads? It must be over 200K. CF 200,000 heads. All right, we're going heads with 200K. Let's see if anybody picks that up. And then in the meantime, let's do another rank up. Ooh. Another rank up key. Nice. I'll put all my keys in there and I'll just start building them up. I just saw a message here. It's really, really tiny saying somebody is buying nukes and enchanted apples. And then somebody else said, I'm buying my nukes at Plot Home Chaotic Monkey for $10.5 billion each. Right? So I have two my nukes. Now watch me get scammed. That's what I'm worried about. But if I go PH Chaotic Monkey 24, right? He's selling things for that much money, which I don't have, right? You do not have sufficient accounts. If I right click this, it'll say, you do not have enough items for this shop. If I right click this one, boom. I just sold a mine nuke for $10.5 billion. I don't know what the going rate of it is, but I'll sell them. So now I have $21 billion. Hell yeah, so that should help us rank up like a boss. Cancel so type slash rank up. Rank up. No, I have to wait three seconds. I have to wait three seconds. I have an achievement unlocked. Vote party luck. New trails unlocked. I unlocked the trails. And then we got a whole bunch of pouches. Let's open these real quick. There we go. Whole bunch of tokens. And let's just continue ranking up as well. $22 million. There we go, $30 million. What's the next one gonna be? $40 million. Hell yeah. Nine billion, one more we can do. And now we are on Warp X. No, we're on Warp Y. Oh, only two more to go, two more to go. We're killing it now. What does Warp Y look like? Oh my gosh. I like this. I like this. I like this instant mine. Very satisfying. And what? Let me guess. Fortune's working on all this stuff as well. Yes, it is. Ah, satisfying. Four point five million dollars. Very nice. But if we earn four million dollars from that, we need to do that two hundred and fifty times to reach a billion, and then we need to do that, add another zero onto that, we need to do that 2,500 times to uh, reach $10 billion, which is not feasible. I hope my maths is correct. So we're gonna have to work out another way to earn some money. So let's go ahead and open up all these crates here. Beep up, beep up, beep up, beep up, beep up. All right. Inventory is all full, sell all. All right, so now we need to work out a way to earn the last $11 billion. Did anybody take our coin flip? Somebody must have taken the coin flip. Let's do CF. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. A hundred million dollars heads. All right, let's see if anybody takes my $100 million coin flip. Maybe we can gamble our way to the top. No, we just lost. Let's do it again. And this is how a gambling addiction starts. We just got beaten again. Let's do a $400 million coin flip. Uh-oh, my combat, I'm gonna die now. I just lost, I just lost three coin flips in a row. Bro, I just lost all my stuff. So sad. What do I do? How am I getting killed? All right, I just bought three mine nukes. P 
because I had the tokens for them. And now I can go to somebody's shop. One, two, three. And now I have $31 billion. So if I type slash rank up, congratulations on your rank up. You have been awarded a rank up key. Keep ranking up. The rain, the mines and kits get better and better. So now we are on Warp C. We're the top rank. Did we win? Is that it? But yeah, now I have $20 billion. I am the top rank. Can I type slash rank up again? You are the last rank. What about like prestige? I need more money to prestige. That's basically what it means. Let's go Warp C and see what Warp C looks like. Warp Z has these which costs how much? How much does that give me? 21k. A full inventory at Warp Z. Full inventory at Warp Z costs $4.8 million. Pretty nice, pretty nice. But we have, as you guys know, hit the final rank now. So what do I do now? do I do now that I've hit the final rank? I guess we got to go for prestige. I guess we got to build up an empire. But yeah, um, I think that's probably a good wrapping up point for this episode. Um, I worked my way from A to Z. If you guys do enjoy this server and want to see me continue playing on it, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I might just go ahead and play on a different server next time since I have basically achieved what I set out to achieve, which is hit rank Z. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with the progress that I've made today. We haven't done anything with the plots. We haven't built a shop. We haven't done anything like that. But like I said, I'm wrapping up here now. So if you guys do want to see me continue playing on this server, let me know in the comments what you want to see and what I should go for in the next episode. But it's been your boy, Cats. Hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.